there's no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California, Ladies and gentlemen, he is a member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC light heavyweight champion, the Iceman, Chuck Liddell. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Jared the Killer Gorilla, Kadimir! And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Here. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Nice punch lands over the top. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, he always brings his hands right back to his face. Good jab. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this new jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, he comes right back to his face. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. And that one was heavy. Left hand punch to the 
Cleveland. Oh, nice punch there by Cannonier. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Whiffs on that offering. Lands flush with that right hand. You got to check these low leg kicks. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for the killer gorilla, Jared Cannonier. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so Jared Cannonier with a window of opportunity here. Beautiful jab to get the striking party started. Beautiful jab, and then watch for him to follow with leg kicks. Remember the kick against Anderson Silva. He blew his leg out. Anderson had to be carried from the octagon because of the kicks of Jared Cannonier. He's a big, powerful guy that's become a big Oh, a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, round two. And that was stuck in. Nice strike. Liddell's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Big punch Whoa! land. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get oh, him. he might be out. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice one, two there. Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Cannoneer. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Just missed. Oh, nice jab there by Cannonier. Straight right hand, no good. Looked like he might have landed there. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go change that finish. Oh, down. he might be out. opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low to come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. You hear the crowd react every time they go. Oh. Oh. oh, he might be out. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He throws a big right hand but doesn't find it's home. Big play. Oh. All right, so there's the end of the round and 
one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Strike blocked by the Iceman. Liddell's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a... Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. And if you take one of them, if you're in the night, that will land you right on the spot. Oh, is that a oh. Serve him up. Go get him. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Close guard. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Kennedy. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Oh, no. He got him! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 39 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout, Jared the Killer Gorilla Kadimir! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout.